Hello everyone, Pedro here with Cinemild once again. Very excited to bring you today the Movi Pro. And uh, of course, the very first Cinemild Movi Pro product. The first of many, we hope. And um, so, to just get right into it, basically the Movi Pro actually comes with a uh, carbon fiber ring, uh, the Movi ring. And, um, you know, some of you may know that we also make a quote unquote ring uh, handlebar system and basically ours is a little bit i like to say it's a lot more than a ring because it's fully configurable there's four corners and four tubes that all come apart so it breaks down small you could put it you could travel easy the corners are drilled with quarter 20 and 3 8 so you can mount lights you can mount monitors but one of the bigger things about our ring besides the fact that as you can see here it comes apart so you can use it as a big C and you know, it doesn't run into your body um, is these spindles. So these uh, spindles here, basically uh, they're adjustable and they're on bearings. And so this is a modification or a part that relates to the use of the ready rig. Now, um, you know, holding a gimbal out in front of you gets pretty old pretty fast and it's not the best way to work, especially, you know, you probably are the owner of a Movi Pro if you're watching this. And so, you know, you, you put very big, heavy cameras on there frequently and thus it is holding it. It's not going to get you very far and it's not going to get you the best results. So you're probably looking at some sort of support system. We are big fans of the ready rig. I feel like it, it's one of the best solutions out there. It's very comfortable, uh, lets me shoot for a long time. Most of all, I retain a very large range of motion with the Ready Rig, and coupled with a few of our accessories, like our Pro Ring, and that has the jib mode, it really expands what you can do. But one of the key aspects to our ring system is the spindles. Now the spindles, basically, you can adjust the height up and down very easily, right? So you slide this up and down. And basically what that does is the higher up or the closer, the lower you go normally, closer to the center of gravity of the gimbal, which is more or less where the camera is sitting, um, the less effort it takes to tilt. Now, why is this a big deal? So if you use, if you use the regular handlebar system, on a gimbal before just with a little short grips as you go to tilt it you're fighting something that's very bottom heavy so it becomes you have to use a lot of wrist strength to get to hold a tilt angle now it's all fine if you're just tilting up and down but if you're at the pit of a concert for example and you have to maintain a constant tilt angle uh, in my case i was shooting a carnival in cuba and i had to look up quite a bit and so Reducing the effort that it takes to tilt a gimbal is a huge deal. It really affects how your shots uh, come off, uh, the precision at which you can come down from a tilt or initiate a tilt up is hugely affected. And you'll be surprised how much difference it makes. It's, you know, uh, once again, using the ready rig as a base. So of course, uh, the first thing everybody started emailing us is, Oh, you know, I don't have a pro ring, but you know, the Movi Pro is coming with a ring. Is there any way I can make your spindles work on the Movi Pro? And the short answer is yes, uh, but we needed to modify them a little bit. So let me get into it right here. So <clears throat> the Movi Pro spindles um, are very much just like our regular spindles. In fact, if you already own our spindles and you have our, our pro ring then we will sell just an upgrade kit or rather a conversion to the 30 millimeter tube our pro ring uses a 25 millimeter tube um, the new movi pro carbon fiber uh, ring is 30 millimeters so this essentially is a conversion kit for our existing spindles now so once again if you have our spindles all you need is you can you, all you need to do is order the conversion kit and do the upgrade but if you don't own any of our products then you can buy it as a complete set so our our what we're here talking today is the spindles for the movi pro and as you can see here i have them mounted i have the ready rig straps attached to them and uh, let me throw the ready rig on 
and get right into showing and talking about why the spindles are such a great, um, make such a difference in how you shoot and in your shots and why you absolutely need to have them. I mean, honestly, um, I wouldn't consider working. I mean, you won't find me on set these days holding a gimbal to begin with. So here we go. So I got my ready rig on. Let me, um, let me uh, pick up the uh, gimbal here. All right. Let me s slide that out of the way. All right. So um, here you go. So I'm going to turn sideways here so you guys can better look at this. And so you can see it could take my hands completely off the, the ring and it just floats there in front of me. And as you can see here, this is, I'm doing this more to illustrate the height that I have the spindle. So the CG is probably about right down here. So I don't have it exactly at the CG. So I encourage you to move these spindles up and down and see the difference it makes. Basically you're setting, you know, you might have seen a steady cam operator set a drop time and basically you can see there it's it's fairly fast but um, the lower you make these the slower it's going to drop down to a point where it's going to become neutral which means what if you know from balancing your movie what neutral balance means it means wherever you put it it stays so i can actually balance these uh, spindles so that wherever i put the ring it's going to stay when I take my hands off right now. Of course, if I take my hands off, it goes back to level. Um, so right away, the biggest thing that I need to point out is here's my pinky. And that is all the effort that's required to tilt up and hold a tilt angle. Of course, you know, I can do this and look straight up really easily. And conversely, you can tilt straight down and you don't really need to make any effort at all. Um, what you're seeing here also, this is just the standard arms on the ready rig. They do make a new uh, upgrade. They call it the, the pro arm upgrade. <laughs> and um, what you can do is you can lengthen these so you can take the whole gimbal and put it a little bit farther away from your body so it's not running into your belly. Um, but you know, that's one of the big advantages of our pro ring system is that you can take the bottom off of the ring. And you can see here when I go to tilt down, the bottom of the ring does hit my, my stomach. Uh, it, the skinnier of the people of you guys out there, you'll have less of an issue with this. But um, anyways, that's one of the reasons why I made our ring completely modular. But so um, that's the big deal is you're now a free to tilt your Movi Pro very easily with your fingertips. Now, you know, I can't make a big enough deal about this is you really shouldn't be grabbing your gimbal with a full, you know, full hand really hard. What happens is all the isolation that either your armor man or, you know, whatever support system, in my case, the ready rig is doing for you, you know, when you're running and stuff, if you grab it really hard, you're essentially, you're translating the movement into it by doing this, even subconsciously, even if you're not thinking about it. So the goal is like most Steadicam operators is to have a very light hold on whatever your input device is. In this case, it's a ring. So uh, once again, we don't want to grab it. We actually want to have a very light hold. You know, I'm a Steadicam operator, so I'm very used to holding my gimbal with the tips of my fingers, uh, and <laughs> the gimbal on my Steadicam, and in this case, the ring here. And why? Because we want to have very fine light control over what we're doing. And by using our spindles and by adjusting how much effort it takes by moving it up and down, you can have a much greater precision and control over that. So as you can see right now, if, if I had a shot right now where I would start from up here and I needed to tilt up, counter essentially the move, then you know, this is a situation where if I had, especially if you have to hold this angle 
at the beginning of the shot for any given period of time. I mean, you know, I'm barely, I'm barely doing anything right now. So, I mean, if I had to hold this angle at the beginning of the shot for a while, I mean, we might be looking down at a term table and then I was going to go boom down and have to change and counter and then now look up maybe at the DJ's face, you know, all this fingertip, this very light effort that it takes to do this. I mean, just talk to any steady cam operator or if you have any steady cam experience yourself, you know that we'll we'll put a slower drop time on the steady cam so we can do a very controlled, precise tilt down. And this is exactly what we're doing with the the ring here and our spindles. So once again, you all you need is you should just take an Allen and you loosen these and you move it up and down and that's how you adjust how much effort it takes. The further up you the further up you mount the spindles, the more effort it's going to take, right? For you to tilt, just like when you have short grips on your gimbal, the further down towards the camera you mount this, the less effort it's going to take, the closer to neutral you're going to be. And so the last thing um, I should talk about is balancing the ring inside of, you know, uh, essentially balancing the spindle. So right now you can see if I take my hands off of it, it sits perfectly straight up and down. Now, it may not be like that when you assembled your, your, um, your spindles. And basically, they there's a lot of fine tuning that happens um, up here. I would say this is the gross adjustment, changing the angle of the, where the gimbal's at. And the fine tuning happens with the spindle angle. So you may not see it from there, but these spindles aren't perfectly perpendicular to the ring. They have a little bit of an angle to them. Uh, depending on the payload that I have in here. And so if I loosen my spindle here, just a tad, just enough so I can rotate it. If I then rotate the spindle backwards, what's going to happen is the ring is now going to tilt forward. And so let me alter that a little, even a little bit more. And you can see that now it's pointing down at a 45 degree angle. Now, this is also another big important point that if you do have to do a walking shot where you're looking down at somebody's feet for the whole shot, what us Steadicam operators do is we're, we're going to trim the, we're going to trim our, our, our camera so that it looks down without us even touching it. That ensures you have the, you know, the best shot, the least you get in the way of these systems, the better they work. So in a lot of cases, Steadicam operators will trim for a shot. And in this case, you can essentially do the same thing. So if I'm following somebody the whole time and we're looking down at their feet, I can adjust the spindles like I did here to, so when I even take my hands off of it, it's already looking at their feet. I barely need to do anything with my hands. But once again, if you assemble your spindles and this is what's happening, your, your ring is falling forward or falling backward, all you gotta do is change the angle on the spindle. So let me change it right here and you're going to see it. You're going to see, you can do both at the same time or just one side. A small change will have a big difference. And so there you go. And, and you see now it's, it's actually, I went too far. So now it's pointed the other direction. So we can make a small adjustment right there and boom. Now it's straight up and down again, right? See straight up and down. So, um, and I encourage you, if you do get the spindles, please please go ahead and watch my um, Cinemilled Pro Ring tutorial um, video. Um, my videos are a little long, but they go in depth and they give you lots of tips and tricks about working with a ring. I mean, this carbon fiber Movi ring is very similar to our Pro Ring, so um, you can learn a lot of a lot of tips and tricks also. But the most important thing is, it, I get a more in depth look at how do you t tune the spindles and all that stuff. But anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a quicker overview um, of our new and our first uh, Movi Pro product, which is our 30 millimeter spindles for the ring. Anyways, I hope, uh, we, I hope you guys are enjoying your new Movi Pro. And uh, I think if you get these, you'll really understand the power that the ready rig 
and the spindle mounts will have in your shooting. Uh, I certainly uh, know that it, it's affected my, my projects quite a bit and it's something I can't live without anymore and I think you're gonna find lots of people out there that are gonna say the same thing. But um, give it a try and change the way you look at things. All right guys, happy shooting and uh, if you have any questions, Reach out to us via sales at cinemill.com. Um, check out our website. We got tons of products. We got lots of uh, other products for mo the Free Fry line, for the Ronin. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of car mount stuff. Uh, we have lots of products that might interest you. And we are working on a few more things for the Movi Pro. The, uh, ne the, f the first of which is going to be the Pro Dovetail for the Movi Pro. And um, I'll see you in that video and uh, happy shooting and thanks, thanks for supporting us.